What? Open work permit for startup visa co-founders? Is this a real thing? A scam? A trap? Good for your startup visa PR approval? And will existing startup visa co-founders be eligible for this new open work permit? When will these changes be released? And what if your letter of support has expired? Can you still apply for this open work permit? This is what we're gonna cover in this short video today. This video is rated RT for the raw truth. Don't watch this video if you have a card condition. Who am I? I'm Reza from Ingwit Canada, licensed immigration practitioner, and our office specializes in helping businesses, people, and families, including other immigration practitioners and agencies to help their clients move across borders. I'm not an actual full-time YouTuber, but I work hands-on with our licensed team here working on actual applications and communicating with the immigration departments both inside and outside the country representing our clients on a daily basis. Why are we posting this video? Well, these are made for the purpose of sharing our hands-on immigration knowledge with our worldwide audience. And of course, if you're thinking about immigrating, we're here to help. Get a free email assessment for eligible applicants by filling out the form down below or reach out to us directly if you're an active immigration practitioner looking to collaborate. This is gonna be one of the shortest videos we've ever made. Open work permit for Canadian Startup Visa co-founders. New and old. Let's cover all the basics in this question and answer format. Question. If you already have a letter of support, already applied for your PR, but did not apply for a work permit yet, and your letter of support has expired, how would you apply for this new open work permit program? You can ask your designated organization to reissue the letter of support with a new validity. This is 100% possible, and we have done this for our clients who started their startup visa journey with us. If your designated organization says this is not possible, or immigration won't accept it, it's all a lie. It's doable as long as you're not in the IRCC request letter stage yet. What if you're a non-essential member from a letter of support that was issued before these changes were announced? Will you be able to apply for this new open work permit as a non-essential startup visa co-founder? Yes, you will be eligible for an open work permit as long as your letter of support is still valid, no matter if you're an essential or non-essential member of the startup visa group. When will this change be actually implemented? Meaning when can existing and new startup visa co-founders actually apply for an open work permit? Although no specific date has been announced, we have to use common sense here, folks. RCC officers and the main decision makers don't work much during July and August. This is their main holiday season. We expect either September, October, or November of this year to have the new open work permit changes implemented for the start of visa program. We expect that the open work permit will be the first real change in the start of visa program after the minister's announcements of all the future upcoming changes that were announced back in June. This is probably the most common question that every start of visa co-founder is asking now. Can an existing closed work permit startup visa co-founder inside Canada receive an open work permit when it's time to renew their closed work permit? No clear answer has been published by RCC, of course. However, as most of the changes will be retroactive in the startup visa program, our experience shows that the open work permit will be also retroactive to allow existing co-founders to switch to open work permits, either before or after or during a renewal. This is based on other programs which IRCC has changed over the years or announced and how it affects previous applicants inside Canada with various statuses. As a startup visa co-founder, can you work for any employer inside Canada with this new open work permit? Yes, but there may be some strings attached which IRCC has not told you yet, which may affect your startup visa PR processing. If I apply for an open work permit, will it affect my PR processing under the startup visa program if I find another job outside of my startup? How do I prove that I'm working full time or my real intentions are to run this startup in Canada? If you apply for an open work permit, that by itself is no reason for a PR refusal. If you find a full-time job with another company, then there will be several factors which may affect your PR processing, such as how much you can show you have traction and progress in your startup, how much you've invested if you've hired Canadians for your startup, and which type of officer you receive for your PR processing, the Terminator type or the Minions. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch one of our previous live streams here on YouTube where we've discussed the various officers making decisions on your PR under the startup visa program. If you want to prove that you're fully invested in your startup and have an active role, I suggest to pay yourself 30 hours a week on payroll from your own startup, not work full time for another employer, but rather part time if you really have to and invest funds in your startup and hire Canadians and make sure you've got progress. This open work permit can be a double edged sword. It can help you with more flexibility inside Canada or it can really hurt your IRCC PR processing chances. What if one of your essential co-founders goes and finds a full-time job with another firm and spends 99% of their time there? How do you prove to IRCC that all essential members are proactive and fully invested in the startup? Food for thought before you bring the whole family over to Canada with an open work permit under the new program with the startup visa program. Last but not least, will I still need to pay for an employee compliance fee to apply for this open work permit under the Canadian startup visa program? The answer is of course not. Open work permit applications are exempt from the employee compliance fee, although the actual application fee with IRCC is $100 higher for open work permits versus closed work permits. If you like immigration hacks, creative immigration solutions, or key analysis of immigration policies and updates, then you can click and subscribe on our YouTube channel as well. If you're thinking about immigrating, whether permanently or temporarily, you're at the right place. I can guarantee you only one point. You'll know what to expect, the entire process clearly laid out for you because we've done it so many times, and all the risks identified, including costs. We have a million dollar liability insurance which protects you and us from fraud or mistakes as well as a dedicated client trust account with our Canadian banking institutions. Our team speaks over nine languages and we help applicants from over 49 different countries during their immigration process. Click the link below this video and get a free email assessment for only eligible applicants. If you're ready to apply and would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me or any of my licensed team members here at Ingwe, you can also book a session directly using the consultation link, again, down in the description of this video. And of course, if you want to take our knowledge for a test drive, remember we're here live weekly on YouTube at 11 a.m. North America Eastern Standard Time every Thursday, where we answer all of your immigration questions for free on the spot. So see you next Thursday.